Good evening. Welcome to my cozy and festive nighttime routine. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my evening rituals that help me feel calm, at peace, and mindful, especially during these uncertain times. I believe that being at peace and being mindful is an art. And like any art in this world, you need to practice it. If you focus on your inner peace, I believe that you're able to apply the art of peace to any aspect in your life. So let's get started. I come home after running some errands and put away my mask, keys and headphones. quickly wanted to shout out to this cozy jacket that I've been obsessed with and that I love wearing on days that I feel like dressing up which has definitely not been every day but when I decide to do so it has definitely brought me joy but now I put away my bag and my jewelry and change into some comfy clothes Even though I really try to have a healthy work-life balance and quit my work around 5 to 6 p.m., this past month has been incredibly busy, which means that I also had to put in more hours in order to get all my work done. When it comes to my work schedule, in the evening I plan some time to check my mailbox to make sure I don't have any urgent emails that I have to respond to. I also ensure that everything from my Supply Billily stationery webshop is going smoothly, especially recently it has been pretty busy with all the holiday shopping, so I need to make sure that all your orders are arriving safely and smoothly. This is also the time that I feel most creative, so I also spend some time editing and working on new videos. And and last but not least, I love interacting with you guys on my other social media platforms. So I check my Instagram and you can follow me there if you like. My username is lilylike.com or my TikTok and my username there is Lilia Kazakova. After I finished all my tasks, it is time to check my planner and to make sure that I am on schedule especially recently that has been so so important i always use the supplied by lily lifestyle dust planner grande in luxurious yashma this is a planner that i designed myself because i could never find the perfect planner that was great for either students or entrepreneurs or career braves it comes with a monthly and weekly overview and it also focuses on setting intentions and reflecting I've been using this planner for years now and I love it so, so much. After I finish my work day, it is time to unwind. And because I work from home, sometimes it can be hard to forget about work, to put your mind into a more mindful and peaceful state, and to stop worrying about anything work or study related. So that is why I always love to set the mood at night by turning on my favorite scented candles around my apartment. It is such a little thing, but it honestly feels like a little gift to myself every night. intermittent fasting and I've been really enjoying it. I try to eat between 1 to 8 and I've definitely noticed improvements in my overall health. I try to stick to it as much as I can but obviously sometimes in weekends I love a late night snack. For today's dinner I was in the mood to make a vegan cauliflower artichoke pizza. When I make dinner I always like to listen to a podcast or have a YouTube video play in the background. And recently I've been listening to this very interesting Buddhist podcast. So for tonight I decided to make a cauliflower artichoke pizza. The cauliflower crust I use is from Trader Joe's and the first thing that I do is preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the crust for 10 minutes 
before applying the toppings and I put in the crust because in order to make it extra crispy you have to bake the crust before applying the toppings and then you bake it again. After I bake both sides for 10 minutes it is time to apply the toppings and I start off with some artichoke dip. I then add lots of spinach because it gets all crispy in the oven and it tastes so so good. I also like to add some heirloom cherry tomatoes as well as some sun-dried cherry tomatoes. I'm just a very big cherry tomatoes fan. And then I top it off with some vegan mozzarella as well as some vegan parmesan cheese. Last but not least, I add some Italian herbs like oregano, thyme and rosemary, salt and pepper. I then put it in the oven and then I also like to grill it for a few minutes to make it extra crispy. I then top off the pizza with some arugula as well as some pine nuts and dinner is served. After dinner, I have a tradition of always cleaning my apartment for 10 minutes. This is the 10 minute cleaning method and it always ensures that my apartment is staying clean and neat. I set a timer for 10 minutes and I clean the kitchen and vacuum the floors. It's something that I've struggled with ever since the lockdown, but I'm looking forward to adding more movement to my daily routine next year. However, one thing I do really enjoy is some good night yoga. This is a very easy and short yoga flow that calms your mind and your body and prepares me to go to bed. workout but that makes it very doable and accessible for anyone. During my evening yoga Sebastian actually came home and decided to join me as well so we ended our practice together. craving something sweet so I decided to go for a cup of almond eggnog or almond nog together with some vegan whipped cream and cinnamon. This is actually the first year that I tried eggnog or almond nog vegan eggnog. We don't really have it in the Netherlands where I'm from but it's honestly the best thing ever. I can't believe I've been sleeping on this. Me and Sebastian enjoy our drinks on the couch, catching up on our day and also watching a series or movie.
Next up, it is time for a relaxing and cozy bath. I add some bath salts to my water, grab a good read. Recently, I've been rereading Le Miserable, which is a book I read as a teenager, so I felt like it was time to reread it again, especially in this beautiful edition that I got from Barnes and Nobles. And you guys know, I love to create a very extra bath, so I always add these battery-operated fairy lights. I also like to use rose petals in my bath. I always keep the leaves from any bouquet that I buy and I put them in a little container in my fridge. And refrigerated, these leaves stay good for quite a while, definitely a few weeks. And this way I make sure that I use my flowers to the max. So now that I'm done with my setup, it is time to enjoy this bath. It is quite extra, but especially in these times, you shouldn't feel guilty to give yourself some bougie self-love and self-care. got out of my bath, it is time to remove my makeup. I always make sure to double cleanse on days that I wear makeup. During quarantine, I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I make sure that I double cleanse and really take the time to take care of my skin. a face mask. Recently I've been obsessed with the Foreo UFO face mask device because it is such a relaxing experience and it only takes 90 seconds. And I also give myself a facial massage with a rose quartz face roller. to go to the bedroom. I put on some PJs and I also like to turn on my air humidifier or diffuser and put in some calming lavender oil to really make my mind and body sleepy. Last but not least, I like to end my day by journaling. And I always use my Supplied with Lily classic notebook in Luxurious Astrology to journal in. I take some time to reflect on my day, set new goals for tomorrow, and reread my past intentions. I also always write down amazing things that happened to me that day. Even if it's something small, like making a great pizza, that should be enough to feel grateful. And with that, it is time to cuddle up next to Sebastian, turn off the lights, and wish you guys a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for watching. So my lovely online friends, we made it to the end of my winter nighttime routine. I really hope that this video gave you some inspiration and motivation to create your own winter evening or nightly routines or rituals um, because especially during these dark times, having a very positive, grounded and mindful routine really helps me to calm down and unwind on a day-to-day -day basis and stay in a positive mental state. And also, if you're planning on incorporating any of these habits or rituals into your own daily routine, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I love reading it. And if you have any suggestions for other healthy habits, leave them in the comments down below and I might incorporate them in my next morning or night routine. Also, if you would like me to do a winter morning routine, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if we hit the 3000 likes, I will film that video for you as well. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and the subscribe button is right here. And you can also click on the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. And um, yeah, I think with that, we made it to the end of this video. And as always, I hope you're having an amazing day or night. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.